Hello and good evening, everybody. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the fucking show. <laughs> I am here again. This is your round drink guy here, and we just gonna have a good time. It's been a while since I've reviewed a beer, but let's do this again. I got plenty of beers left. Took a little break. I'm back at it again. Today we're gonna review on this lovely wet day something that I should have reviewed a while back, but. You know what? I need it more now than ever. We are doing the Sparrow in Space. Allow the echo to end. Burial in Space. This is from a nice little quaint brewery out of South Houston, uh, known as Equal Parts Brewery, formerly known as Sigma Brewery. Um, they recently changed their name during the COVID pandemic, uh, October of 2020, celebrating their four-year anniversary. Um, they felt that the Sigma name, which it used to be referred to, I guess, um, self-assured or self to own, uh, something like that, somewhere or another, um, they felt that that name was too selfish. And at that part, at the, around that time, they were doing the whole Unity Brewery thing where they were combining their ingredients with everybody else, doing their part, changing out cans. And so they wanted them to do what they call uh, more of a friendly, positive one. So they changed the name to Equal Parts Brewery. Um, still kept majority of the beer that they made. They did got rid of some of the old stocks from the original names, mainly because of the labeling reason. They still had the original name on it. Um, they do a, a lot of great IPAs. Um, and a lot of funny ones at that. They were having a, a good Terminator and Robocop theme going on. My favorite one been Dick Jones, and I really, really wish I could have gotten a label of that label. Dick Jones. Dick fucking Jones. I work for Dick Jones! Dick Jones! But today we are gonna stick it to Star Wars or Star Trekky and do some burial in space. A grand salute. And a grand entry. This, I've had this before last year. I'll admit, the first time I had the bottles, about two years ago, the bottle is very tame and, and plain. This time around, though, it's hilariously well done. Hilariously well done. And I love it a lot. And it's, it, uh, the Burial in Space is a, um, what should we call it? It's an Imperial Stout aged in Yellow Rose Rye Whiskey, which is Yellow Rose Rye Whiskey, Outlaw Bourbon Whiskey. It's um, our local distillery out of Houston, Texas. And also has coffee scorch and fakalas from oh okay from Nicaragua coffee. I know some of these words from Nicaragua. Look at that and um, Zella coffee roasters. So this is a pure coffee whiskey beer. And there's of course stout as always. There's always still stout season this time around here. So let's see the little label that they got here. <clears throat> Traps in the clutches of. Hobo, the king of nightmares, our hero, Skyboss, must gather what his strength is left, or this will be a burial in space. I don't know who wrote that, but they were really silly about it. But, silly may come, silly may do. Let's read this motherfucker. So, I've been swearing off on beer for a little bit. I've been trying to focus on other things, and that should have been having more fun doing other projects, uh, so we get into that here in a minute. So let's do a nice little pour test. Just pour stuff, look at that. Nice look at that aspect. Not already off the back, it's a typical stout with a great brown head. Um, you gotta love it, you gotta love that. And so, mm. Soldiers in your cup. Soldiers in your cup. So let's go ahead and take this out. Mm. Oh. oh, man. This does not taste like coffee beer. This, oh man. So I remember giving a gripe not that long ago about how um, bourbon and coffee beer always don't go well together because one always upsets the other and so on and so forth. And that was one of my bigger gripes with actually French French Press. French Press is a great coffee beer. 
but they never, in my opinion, could never get that that ingredients wise when it comes to aging it in bourbon or aging in cognac, which we did this year. Um, so with that being said, <laughs> I finally found somebody that didn't mess with that, and at, at this moment and forth, like, henceforth, this is the king of that castle. Uh, this is a great tasting uh, coffee beer because you can still taste the coconut. You can still, no, not coconut, I'm sorry. You can still taste the coffee beans. You can still taste the chocolate that's in it. And it still has that bourbon complex. It still has the bourbon bite at the end of it. It glares itself from one dent to another. And there's a perfect, perfect way to sip on this beer. Uh, my biggest gripe with the cognac press press and the bourbon press press was I didn't uh, review. And as soon as you drink it, all you taste is either the bourbon or the cognac. You barely taste the coffee beans itself. Biggest issue, like it's like for beer itself, that's great. But for something that you're trying to like promote and produce, that kind of falls flat. As in, you're, you're trying to promote yourself as this, you want to stick to that. Uh, so with this being said, and this is not as loud, which is very, very sad. Sigma or an equal part, they do a lot of phenomenal beers that nobody really recognizes, nobody really uh, tries to go after it because it's such a small brewery in such a unique part of town where it's very, no one really is there. Um, I've gone several times there, it's, it's, it has a lot of loyalists and I, God bless them for that because this needs to be more recognized. It's up there with Holler Brewery and um, what you call it, City Acres and all that stuff. They need to be more recognized, Baba as well. Uh, they just they do a lot of good job and thankfully they have a loyal loyal fan base that's keeping the doors open and that's all we need as for this I mean I mean it, it's just it's a great stout coffee beer with bourbon with um, uh, rye like two different types of whiskeys and chocolate and coconut from well, not coconut not coconut um, coffee coffee beans and it's just it's just a good it almost tastes like an espresso so when you take like an espresso with a fucking like with a little heat at the end of it and it's, it's it's a phenomenal beer i can't praise it enough uh, i'm just stuttering now i'm just a guy i'm jittery I'm the jittery guy from mad tv just whoa. coffee 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 <laughs> whoa. Mm. Ooh, i'm wide awake now this will be my morning coffee for the next few days uh with that being said Check this place out. I'm gonna give this a five out of five. This is a phenomenal coffee bourbon beer. It's a phenomenal fucking style. You can't miss it. You can't hate it. You gotta love it. You gotta support it. Equal Parts Brewery, Harrisburg, uh, on, on Harrisburg. You can easily look for it. Um, and shit, best thing about them too, heads up right quick. Um, they were right next to the light rail track. So what most people would do during games, especially during football games, they would they would park there, or Astro games, my bad. So specifically for Astros games, they will let people park in their parking lot and take the light rail and go over there. As long as you go inside and buy a round or two, they'll vouch for your parking, which is great. And that's what we did the last time we went to an Astros game. We went in there, we bought it two, we bought two rounds. The gate, they let us in. All right, we got you now. You can park it and you can go, go on and hit it. And it's a great, perfect pregame spot. And we got lucky when we got out of the game; it was still open. Got a few beers afterwards and call it a night. It's, it's, I can't I can't help it enough and I really love this beer. Uh, support it. Eagle Parts Brewery, five out of five beer. Uh, and you think if you, if you love stouts, just what you gotta go after. Stout beer, stout season never dies, baby. Never dies. I will start reviewing IPAs. I know people are saying I don't have to touch on IPAs as much. It's just it's not it's you had one, you had them all. Sorry to say. But it is coming around against uh, IPA season. It's going to hit in full force, so it's sour season. So once it hits full force, I will have nothing but some IPAs to talk about. I promise you. Until then, my friends, drink safe, drink smart, drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Do or die.